كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر أولو الألباب Today, inshallah, we're going to learn about ayah number 34 of the seventh chapter of the Quran or Surah Al-A'raf or the heights between Al-Jannah and Al-Nar. In this ayah, as you heard the great reciter reading, وَلِكُلِّ أُمَّةٍ أَجَلٍ فَإِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهُمْ لَا يَسْتَأْخِرُونَ سَاعَةً وَلَا يَسْتَقْدِمُونَ and the meaning of this ayah that every nation, every community, every group of people, there is an appointed term for them, a fixed term. And whenever the term arrives and it is due, they cannot tarry behind a moment, nor can they get ahead. So they cannot remain behind a moment, nor can they proceed. What does it mean? The commentators of the Quran have two main opinions in this regard. Obviously, in the light of similar ayat in the Quran, because this meaning was delivered three times in the Quran. In ayah number 34 of Surah Al-A'raf, chapter number 7, and in Surah al and in Surah An-Nahl, in ayah number 61, chapter number 16, Allah the Almighty says, وَلَوْ يُؤَخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِظُلْمِهِمْ مَا تَرَكَ عَلَيْهَا مِنْ دَابَّةِ And if Allah were to impose blame on people due to their wrongdoing, Allah simply would not leave on earth any living creature. وَلَكِنْ يُؤَخِرُهُمْ إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّةِ Yet Allah the Almighty postpones them until their fixed term. And once their fixed term is due, لَا يَسْتَأْخِرُونَ سَاعَةً وَلَا يَسْتَقْدِمُونَ They will not um, remain behind a moment, nor will they proceed to their term or towards their term a moment. فَإِذَا جَاءَ جَلُهُمْ لَا يَسْتَأْخِرُونَ سَاعَةً وَلَا يَسْتَقْدِمُونَ Similarly in chapter number 10, ayah number 49, Surah Yunus, Allah the Almighty says, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say the following, قُلْ لَا أَمْلِكُ لِنَفْسِي ضَرًّا وَلَا نَفْعًا إِلَّا مَا شَاءَ اللَّهِ لكل أمة أجل إذا جاء أجلهم لا يستأخرون ساعة فلا يستأخرون ساعة ولا يستقدمون which means say O Muhammad I possess nothing for myself neither harm nor benefit except what Allah the Almighty wills for every nation there is a specific term a fixed term whenever the term has come they will not remain behind an hour or a moment, nor will they proceed. In Arabic, the word sa'a refers to the time. It could be a regular hour of our time, 60 minutes, or any time, a moment for instance. 
So the Almighty Allah tells us that not because we rush the destruction of the non-believers, the Ummah, the people who oppose their prophets, who transgressed against them, who rejected the truth, even though the Prophet is supported by Allah and he's chosen by Allah and he's surrounded by the righteous and the believers, but it is not up to you, not because you wish the destruction of the evil people, they will be destroyed once you will. Every Ummah, every group of people, those who opposed their prophets, those who gathered together to reject the truth, they have a fixed term. Once their term is due, not a chance. No one can prolong their lifespans in a moment, and nor will they die or perish a moment before their term is due. It is as simple as that. And uh, this ayat also revealed in response to what the Meccan pagans and the non-believers were challenging the Prophet with when they said, Allahumma in kana hadha huwa al-haqqa min indika faamtur alayna hijaratan min al-samai aw itina bi'adhabin alim. Look at the challenge as it's stated in Surah Al-Anfal, verse number 32. The pagan said, O oh God, if this is the truth and if this is truly your Prophet, and you have chosen him to deliver your message, then show us a message. They didn't ask for God to guide them, to show them the truth, to be rightly guided. Rather, they asked for their destruction. They said, فَأَمْطُرْ عَلَيْنَا حِجَارَةً مِنَ السَّمَاءِ Just send a rain of stones from the heaven to destroy us, like you did with the people of Prophet Lut. أَوْ إِتِنَا بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ Or cause a severe and a painful torment to take us. So this is what they asked for. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded that every ummah has a fixed term. No matter what you do, whether you so good, you're too good, or you're so evil, you will only die and you will expire whenever your term is due. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked by Jibreel alayhi salam when the Meccans transgressed all the limits and they hurt him badly and his companions. And as he was returning from a Ta'if, a da'wah trip, and the Meccans did not allow him to enter Mecca. So, Jibreel alayhi salam wrote the angel of the mountains and said, Allah have sent him to you. You order him, he will destroy them between the two major mountains, Al-Akhshabain. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam refused and he begged him to give them respite. Why? He said, لَعَلَى اللَّهَ أَنْ يُخْرِجَ مِنْ أَصْلَابِهِمْ مَنْ يَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Hopefully, Allah will bring out of their lines and out of their offspring those who will testify to the oneness of Allah. Even if they do not believe themselves, maybe their children, their offspring, and subhanAllah. Even though the worst opponent to the Muslim Ummah and to the Prophet, Abu Jahl, was a kafir, and he died on the battle of Badr. But look at one of his sons, Ikrimah. May Allah be pleased with him one of the great companions of the Prophet Look at Khalid ibn walid look at this companion and that companion. Look at Abdullah, the son of Abdullah ibn Ubay ibn Salul, whose father used to be the head of the hypocrites while he was one of the great companions. On the other hand, some of the commentators of the Quran said it's not only limited to the nations who oppose the prophets and they deserve the punishment and the people who incur the wrath of Allah upon them but also every individual has a fixed term. And this is also true. That is because the fact that the Prophet Sallallahu said in the sound hadith, when the zygote is formed in the womb of the pregnant woman, then it is time for the angel to breathe the soul into that nutfa, then alaqa, then mudra. So the angel would come and by the command of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will breathe the soul so this morsel of flesh will turn into a living being in the womb, into a fetus. And at that moment, the Prophet ﷺ said, the angel will be ordered and commanded by Allah the Almighty to write the following destiny for that fetus. Rizqihi wa amalihi wa ajalihi wa shaqiyin aw sa'id. So it will be written that this person will have that much provision in life much lifespan, how much lifespan, how many years will he or she will live, and whether he will be rich or happy, and so on. 
So the specific reference in this hadith is the ajal. If a person is trying to take his life or her life, they're only dying whenever it is time for them to die. And if a murderer did not kill his victim, eventually he or she will die at this time because it was their fixed term. So why will we then punish the murderer? Because he transgressed. He killed an innocent soul without any justification. So the ayah, brothers and sisters, is an assurance to all of us that everything has a fixed term. Once the term is due, they will not remain behind for a moment, nor will they proceed. May the Almighty Allah guide us to what is best. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.